let's start from uh, this definition of the Riemann zeta function here and we show that this definition is coincident with this one so this is another representation of the Riemann zeta function for the real part of s greater than one now we want to extend the Riemann zeta function in such a way that we can define it also for those cases in which this condition is not satisfied I'm going to rewrite the gamma function in this uh, manner I'm going to change the variable s to s over 2 and the variable x to n squared pi x and what I get is gamma of s over 2 equal to integral from 0 to infinity n to the power 2 times s over 2 minus 1 pi to the power s over 2 minus 1 and then I have x to the power s over 2 minus 1 and then I have uh, e to the minus n squared pi x dx times pi times n squared this can be written as n to the power s pi to the power s over 2 integral from 0 to infinity x to the power s over 2 minus 1 e to the minus n squared pi x dx from which we get the following so we get gamma of s over 2 divided by pi to the power s over 2 multiplied by 1 or n to the s and this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power s over 2 minus 1 e to the minus n squared pi x dx now we sum over n so on the left here, the only term that we are summing is this one. We, we sum over n from 1 to infinity. So here we are going to get the Riemann zeta function. So we get gamma of s over 2, zeta of s, and then this is divided by pi to the power s over 2. And then here we have a summation of this integral, and the summation will act on this exponential here. So let's put the summation inside the integral. It is an operation that should be motivated more rigorously, but it can be done if uh, the summation converges quite fast, which is the case because here we have e to the minus uh, something squared, n squared, and we are summing over n. So we have integral from 0 to infinity, x to the power s over 2 minus 1, and then we have a summation over n from 1 to infinity e to the minus n squared pi x dx like this now let's call this function psi of x it is a function of x and you can check easily that uh, 2 psi of x plus 1 will be equal to the summation the same summation but starting at minus infinity so from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus n squared pi x it's easy to check right because if we consider also the summation from minus infinity to minus one e to the minus n squared pi x i mean these two are equal it's very easy to check because n is squared so if we sum from minus infinity to minus one or from one to infinity it's the same thing and then we simply have to add 1 in order to get this. Why are we adding 1? Well, because if you set n equal to 0, you're going to get 1. So this is a simple equality to verify. But now we can use the Poisson summation formula. So this one here will be equal to 1 over square root of x sum over k or n, whatever you want to call the integer, which you are summing over from minus infinity to plus infinity and then we have e to the minus pi over x k squared like this and therefore this can also be written as 1 over the square root of x 
times 2 psi of 1 over x plus 1. So we get that this is equal to this. And now remember the definition of uh, the Riemann zeta function in the integral form, which is uh, this one. So we can rewrite that as gamma of s over 2 zeta of s times pi to the minus s over 2. And now we can split the integral into two parts. So we integrate from 0 to 1 in the first part, x to the s over 2 minus 1, psi of x dx, plus integral from 1 to infinity, x to the s over 2 minus 1, psi of x dx. Now, in this first integral here, we are going to substitute for psi of x the formula that we can obtain from this one. So from here, from this formula, we can also write psi of x equal to 1 over 2 square root of x, 2 psi of 1 over x plus 1, and then we have minus, minus 1 over 2. It's another formula that you can get from uh, this one. Right, and you just have to substitute here, only here, not here. So you can rewrite this as integral from 0 to 1, x to the power s over 2 minus 1. And then here you have 1 over square root of x, psi of 1 over x, plus 1 over 2 square root of x, minus 1 over 2 dx plus integral from 1 to infinity, x to the power s over 2 minus 1 psi of x dx. And now we can rewrite this as integral from 0 to 1, x to the power s over 2 minus 3 halves from here times psi of 1 over x dx and then we can integrate these two terms multiplied by not by this so we get plus we have this first term multiplied by this will give me one half and then I have x to the power s over 2 minus 3 halves plus 1 divided by s over 2 minus 3 halves plus 1 from 0 to 1, and then we get minus 1 half from here, and then we have to integrate this. So it's x over x to the power s over 2 divided by s over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1, between 0 and 1, and then we are left with uh, this integral here. So we get plus integral from 1 to infinity x to the power s over 2 minus 1 psi of x dx like this and this is equal to equal to now we can rewrite these two terms together so this first one will give me 1 over s minus 1 whereas this one will give me minus 1 over s then we have this which is plus integral from 0 to 1 x to the power s over 2 minus 3 halves psi of 1 over x dx plus integral from 1 to infinity x to the power s over 2 minus 1 psi of x dx. Now we can put these two together so this will give me 1 over s minus 1 times s here in the denominator and then in this second integral we can change the variable from x to 1 over x and it is just a substitution so we can rewrite that as we have equal to 1 over s minus 1 s and then here the integral will go from infinity to 1 because when x goes to 0 1 over x 
will go to infinity and here it will stay it will remain equal to 1 because if x goes to 1 1 over x still goes to 1 and then here we basically get x to the minus s over 2 plus 3 halves and then we get psi of x and then the, the differential of x will become minus 1 over x squared dx like this plus integral from 1 to infinity x to the power s over 2 minus 1 psi of x dx and now you can put the, the integrals together so we get 1 over s minus 1 times s plus integral from 1 to infinity x to the power minus s over 2 minus 1 half plus x to the power s over 2 minus 1 psi of x dx. Now this is exactly where we want to stop. With, and we, want, we don't want to manipulate this result any further. So let me rewrite the, um, the left hand side here. So I'm, I'm going to rewrite the thing that was uh, on the left hand side this one. I'm going to rewrite it below for the sake of convenience. So this is equal to gamma of s over 2, zeta of s times pi to the power minus s over 2. And this is the important formula that we needed because now we can see that this integral here is convergent for all s values, right? Because uh, this function psi of x, it is a sum of exponentials, of, of exponentials that do not have any discontinuity. And if we integrate these quantities from 1 to infinity, then there is no discontinuity. Another important point to consider is the fact that if we go from s to 1 minus s, well, you can easily check that this term will remain the same because we have 1 over, instead of s, we have 1 minus s minus 1 here, and then we get 1 minus s, but this is of course equal to 1 over s times s minus 1. So it's basically the same, and you can check that also these terms will remain the same. If you make this substitution, you have x to the power minus uh, 1 half plus s over 2 minus 1 half plus x to the power 1 half minus s over 2 minus 1 and uh, if you do the algebra you will uh, get exactly the same uh, quantities so they remain the same okay but this is actually very important because it means that this term here will be equal to gamma of 1 minus s over 2 times zeta of 1 minus s times pi to the power minus one half plus s over two which is exactly what we wanted now we have a functional equation which is very very important next time i'm going to use this functional equation to find zero of minus three and from here we will see that it will be clearly defined as one over 120 so we removed any discontinuities we'll do it from here next time